We go now to developing news in Groton. Families living near the Navy Lodge to stay inside and lock their doors. Investigators have tried to end a standoff with a man in that area. Investigators have tried to end that standoff there. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Carolina Cruz is live near the Navy Lodge in Groton with what police are telling residents now. Carolina. Good morning. Well, we just spoke with the police chief and he tells us that he's in talks with the superintendent. That's because schools in this area will close and students will have to stay home if this continues on for the next hour or so. Here's the latest. We know that there are no injuries in this case. That was the police chief's main concern. This after last night, an eyewitness told investigators they heard a gunshot in the area. Police were first called here for a disturbance. We know that families who live in the area are being asked to lock their doors and stay inside. Meanwhile, police are using several methods not specified by police to get that suspect to surrender. Our Channel 3 crews heard investigators last night calling out to the suspect, urging him to call his wife and end the situation peacefully. We have secured some, some of the streets around the area just out of an abundance of caution to make sure that people do feel safe. We've asked them to stay in the residence. Uh, for the time being, that's the best and most prudent course of action for them. Most of the people who live here in this neighborhood are military families. It's unclear if this suspect has military ties. State police and mutual aid are helping local law enforcement with this case. The police chief says that this case could drag on for hours or it could end soon. It's just a matter of waiting and being patient with that suspect. We're going to continue tracking the possibility of that school closure here in this area and bring you any updates as soon as we know. For now, reporting in Groton, I'm Carolina Cruz, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.